Ikuku. Your Majesty, I greet you. Ikuku, no. Cabinet members, I salute you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ikuku, something greater than termite has entered the termite's hole. Ikuku, our eyes are paining us. We could not see clearly, Ikuku. Our young married daughters are losing their newborn babies. My own daughter, inclusive. Ikuku want to find out why. Why? Why is it happening to us, Ikuku? Where is your daughter? She is inside. I wish to see her. Dad! Igwe. Bring she I Eye of the gods. The most annoying aspect of this is that their husbands have started sending them back to their various homes. As I speak to you now, my own daughter, Dama, and some others are back. Princess, step forward. Step into this circle. Turn towards me. May I see? Your Majesty, there is a problem. I see calamity. Hey. I see doom. Our women, married and single, they have a spell on them. I shall return to commune with the gods. But I must warn, let all the women, married and single, desist from eating meat and okra soup. For now, I beg to take my leave. Who must have casted a spell on our children? Onoduko, I don't want you to say anything on this issue. Are you not the one who, who was busy suggesting we should go and check water spirit or banjo spirit? Yedi, shut up your mouth! If you don't have any reasonable thing to say, I only made a suggestion. Eh? And that same thing I am saying is that I don't want you to commit blunder again and call it suggestion. Better look elsewhere for that your water spirit and have it in your mind. Yedi, you are a fool. Me, fool. Have you ever made any good suggestion in this palace before? Uh, no, enough. Have you ever? Uh, 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 if not because of you, I would have gone out of here because I am a legit to idiot. Go out! Hey! hey go out! I don't blame you. I only blame your father. Who got you to a woman selling by me at Okoye? I, I am still tracing your roots. Hey! Eh? You are a descendant of that Obanje yourself. Hey! 
Look at of you quarreling like, like children. We are here to solve a calamity that crept into our household. And instead of you to discuss about that, you are quarreling. I'm ashamed. Let's wait and see the outcome of this. Please. <laughs> Wipe your tears, especially now that the gods are making a search on why women of Amuda lose their children at childbirth. Not one, not twice, but I also lost the third child. Better I'm in my father's house than in a marriage that is filled with so much pain and sorrow. <laughs> Come closer. Let me see your stomach. My, my name is Tadema. Tadema. Oh, si Tadema. You may not go. Don't tell anyone that you met with me. Dry your tears. There is hope. My Nango. Thank you very much. <laughs> Princess, Tadima just came back to this village for the same issue and she has lost three kids. I don't think there is any hope of me getting married. What are you saying? You mean Tadima left her husband's house too? Yes, my princess. I saw her too. I don't know if your majesty, our king, has done anything in regards to this. He's doing something about it. He sent for Ikuku, the chief priest. He came before the elders. Mwando, your father was also there. The chief priest did some things and left. Hopefully, the journey to find out exactly what is wrong in this village has just begun. Thank you very much, my princess. That's why we rallied around you, because we know you will be of great help to the maidens in this kingdom. You're welcome, you're welcome.
Are you hungry? Mm. What is it now? I want to see my mother. Why do you suddenly remember your mother? If you are hungry, tell me I'll give you food. Are you hungry? Mm. You want to see your mother? Ipa! Ipa! Uh, mama! Biko, bia, 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 bia. Your son is demanding for his mother. And I'm surprised he's asking me that. I don't think anything is wrong for him to ask of his mother. He came. Don't worry, I will take you to where your mother is. Hmm? That should be in the next two market days. Does he know what two market days is? Besides, I don't want any stories at all. Let him remain here. Mama, why? Amuda is a no-go area, as far as I'm concerned. I don't want any stories. Let this boy remain here. He is my grandson and does not belong to Amoda people. Biko. Mm. Mm. Go tell his majesty that he who is here. are angry with our mother village your majesty are you aware that in the entire community of Ibafo it is only in Amoda village that this calamity has befallen in my capacity as the chief priest of Amoda village your majesty I demand that you assemble all the cabinet members tomorrow morning I have a message from the gods you said the gods I'm not happy with our people. Yes, Your Majesty. And if nothing is done as soon as possible, taking of human lives may be an option for the gods. Have they not been taking lives? Have they? Which other life will be more important than the lives of our grandchildren? Ibu Golo. The gods have spoken. Why is this not happening in other villages? I have gone to ask and I found out that it is only here that our grandchildren are dying. Taking off lives as an option. Is this not a harvest of woes? When all our grandchildren are already in the grave. Alas! I 
I will suggest we keep our fingers crossed and wait till tomorrow when he, when he will come and tell us exactly where we have offended the girls. Father, Ikuku was here earlier today. I heard he said something about calamity. In fact, I heard him. Father, please. What is the solution? Now listen. You have no right to eavesdrop. When a discussion is going on between the king and his cabinet, let this be the first and the last time I warn you on this. Don't blame her, Your Majesty. Was there any other issue aside from how to set them free from this child's bed? Stay away from any discussion coming from the throne. When it's time for women, we shall invite you. But as of now, stay away. Stay away. Father. Have I said anything wrong? No, no, it's okay. Your Majesty, our deity is going to reveal to me that something happened here right before you all, including you, Our Majesty, and it was neglected. A curse was laid upon Amuda that our daughter's newborn, especially their girl children, will continue to die. Mm. This is strange. Before our eyes. Hi. This is a message from the gods. We, we do not understand what the gods uh, are talking about. Yes, yes. Does it mean the gods is lying against us? No. The gods can't be lying against us. I think something is really wrong somewhere. A curse laid upon our daughters. The gods also provide a solution. Uh, yes. The gods reveal that three maidens, young maidens, and the three women should be selected to journey to Eku Omumu, the gods of fertility. There, they will meet with the priestess. On their way, they shall have a mother hen each. The priestess will tell them what brought this very calamity and what to do. Thank the gods that there is solution at the end, Your Majesty. The gods also reveal that your daughter will lead this very journey. I shall be with them before they are departure. I beg to take my leave now. Uh, uh, how do we... I beg to take my leave? Mm. Huh? Hmm. So... How do we select those that will go? Uh, since he said uh, he will be here before the movement, mm -hmm. all I suggest is for us to call the town crier to make announcements that we make all the maidens to be here. Uh, I don't think that uh, sending the town crier will be the best. It will cause more commotion that we already have in this village. I'm not saying that they should not be aware, but anything that will make the tension to be more high, let us remove it now. So what are you suggesting? Um, I suggest the princess should talk to few women, since not all of them are needed for this journey. That is my own candid suggestion. We must carry all of them along hmm. to avoid women and their problems. Hmm. Uh, Igwe, we all are here when uh, Ikuku mentioned that your daughter will lead this mission. I uh, will know your daughter. 
before she got married, she was friendly with almost all the women in this village. In fact, she used to come to my house to spend some time with my daughter, Wado. Even though they are not of the same uh, age mate. You see, I will suggest you call your daughter. Let her know the mission before her. Then give her the free hand to select those that will go with her on this mission. That is my own suggestion. Uh, in that case, we should take this very first step. I will tell her the message is from the God. Exactly. So, she will now select those that will go with her. I think I've spoken the mind of everybody. Yes, you, you have. have. You have. You have. You have. Uh, um, who must have laid this curse on us? A cause that takes the lives of our innocent children? A cause that will make us taken, carry it for nine months, and still take away the breath from the child when giving birth to? Whoever that laid this curse on us must be very wicked. The gods have spoken. That is why I sent for you. We must go and see the priestess of Ekwomomo, the goddess of birth. They say three are married and three married women. We must provide a mother hen. Who and who shall go with us? Tadema is in this village now. We shall also see Adane. And for the three unmarried women, we will look for the brave ones. Uh, are they to come with the mother hen too? All of us. Oh, this is serious. Very serious. As the poor man is waiting for your arrival. You, maidens of our land, shall depart the poor On your way going, you must not utter any word. Upon your arrival at the poor these hands in your hands, you shall drop them at the shrine of your home and listen attentively. We shall be waiting for your arrival. You may now go. <coughs> <coughs> Mama, you should have allowed me to go with them. At least I will know exactly what will happen there. My two children will not just go like that. I know why I allowed a Kedima to go with them. Spending two hands would be too costly for me. Mama. So because of ordinary hands. Ha! Mama, so you made me withdraw because of ordinary hands. No, my daughter. But sometimes you don't sacrifice all that you have. If you will understand what I mean. Eko Omomo is a goddess of fire. Sometimes it takes humans. But my daughter, let's wait for them to return. Hmm? Let's wait for them. Hmm. So it 
to say, Kwamu would have laid the case in us. Hey, Banu, it's not a Kwamu. So why are they now going to priestess of a Kwamu? It was an instruction from the gods. You are very much aware that Ekumumu is the goddess of progression. Yes, since our sister's children are dying, they have gone to Ekumumu to ask. Come on, every minister, Banu Piwoko. So where exactly did this case come from? I eh? don't know, my sister. Until they are back, everyone is in shock. My sister, did the girls help us? I see. Shrine, the deity that gives and takes. Sit down. My children, take this cola nut, chew it, all of you, rub the alligator pepper on your stomach and throw it away. Amoda women are today suffering not because they committed any crime. No! But because your fathers never bothered. And a little girl of 12 years Died a painful death. Mm. Udogadi. Udogadi lost her father when she was just three years old. Mm. Her father went to tap on wine and fell down from the palm tree and he died. Her mother too later died when she was six years old. She lived on and was fending for herself. Nobody cared for her. 
No one cared to know how that little child was surviving. Her father's brothers all died at birth. It was only Udoga, this father, that survived. That little orphan suffered. Udoga, they suffered. Nobody was there to help her. She suffered. She goes to the farm all alone. She does virtually everything. Though she never asks anyone for help. She was hoping that one day the villagers will come for her, for her help. None of you were born at that time. But your fathers were all of age and knows Udogadi and her family. One day she was ready to go to farm. was hungry and was set to go to farm to know at least if she can have something to eat but something happened something terrible happened to her I was only going to my father's home to take something I can eat. Brother, please, please don't kill me. Mm -mm. They're not going to hurt you, okay? Get up! Somebody's help! Somebody help! Take away! These warriors came from Ameba, a very far community. They were looking for heads to use in burying their king's mother. But unfortunately, Udoga died before they could reach home. Hmm. Mm. Out of hunger, and starvation. This 
brother is bad luck. What do you mean by that? She's dead. What do we do? Very of course. Where do we believe her? Bring her, let's go. But before she died, she laid a curse on Amoda village. She said because no one ever looked for her. No one ever cared to know how she was faring. She said that Amoda people do not value their girl child. She led this course not on the entire community, but upon her own village. That nobody will ever give birth to a girl child in Amoda. <sighs> Both the ones at home and the married ones. And that is why every girl child born in Amoda dies. Oh, sorry. <sighs> And today, some men of Amoda farmed in her father's land without even asking about that singular seed from that family. The warriors finally buried her on top of Igirigi Mountain, where no one has ever crossed till date. This is so sad. So terrible. How could our fathers be this less concerned? But my princess, that is not the right word to say. The people were wicked to have allowed the little girl to suffer and die. And none of them ever Asked or looked for her. Sadly, she died in the hands of her killers. <sighs> Not right. I got the one you come. Please, what can we do to save the lives of our born children? Please. What's Many of do? us are out of our husbands' houses. They have called us names and... Go home. Tell your fathers all that I said. The calamity will continue if Udogadi's body is not found and brought back to Amoda. Whatever is left of her remains must be brought back home. Not by your fathers. Because her spirit does not want to have anything to do with her brothers that abandoned her. But by you, young women of Amoda, not the unmarried. But some of you that have lost your girl child. This is the directives from Opuamomo. One last thing. The tradition of uprooting her obanje must first be done before the search 
for her body. Agadi Wine, a cool mumu. You are the seer that have been saving the women's folk. My grandmother, Wine Yudu, sang your praises till she died. Please, let me appeal to the goddess to allow our elder sisters rest. Why we, the younger ones with more strength, embark on that journey? Please, they have lost their babies and some of them are still mourning. Biko. No one sees more than the gods. The gods sees more than everyone. Ikuku will complete the remaining works of the gods. Go home and do not say one more thing. You may all leave. Just too much. How can we go and suffer for this? Such things are meant for men and not for women. The old woman has asked us to go and look for the body of her fallen sister. We should not stand here and start arguing. Please. A.K.D. Ma was brave enough to make an appeal for all of us to go. And we all heard what the woman said. In as much as this has fallen into our hearts. Honestly, our fathers did not try at all. They didn't. How could they have allowed that little girl to suffer and die like that? No matter what, we must save our unborn children. We must cleanse the land of our mother. Because has started showing us mercy by revealing this to us. We should all go home first, okay? He will give you a good job. Then, Nana, you may try to be. Man, oh, big, you may I remember Mokoye who gave birth to Dokade. That was during the reign of my father. We were young men then. But I thought she was taken away by her mother's people. I never knew Dokade was dead. Exactly. At a point, I and Mwafo went to her father's hut to search for her. At least for some reasonable days. We couldn't find her. Then we gave up. The mistake has been made. We all are guilty of this nonchalant attitude. Now, what is the way forward? The way forward you asked? The way forward is that none of you, our fathers, could take care of an only seed. An only seed left in your care. You couldn't. You allowed our sister to die in pain. Who knows what she might have gone through? Who knows? Imagine Udogadi was abandoned in her age. You don't know. 
You don't know the pains of bearing a child. After nine months of pregnancy and finally losing it, you don't know. Take a good look at us. Take a very good look at us. We are hurting. Ours is finished. All because of this. All because of this issue. <gasps> She was fending for herself. Yet, nobody gets to know if she was alive or dead. She was going to the farm at her age to look for food. And on that faithful day, on that faithful day, she met on Tenley Dates. <laughs> and we are here, we are here suffering for something we do not know. <laughs> Igwe. We all have been given a task to go and bring back her body and bury her. We have been given a task to go to Igurigi Mountain. A big task to go to Igurigi Mountain and dig up whatever we see in her grave. And it must be brought back here and buried in her father's compound. <coughs> Igirigi Mountain. How come she was taken to such a far and dangerous place? Must we risk the lives of our young women because of the body of a little child that must have decayed? Father, we must save our unborn children. We must! We must set free the lives of young maidens who are not sure of their marital lives. You have to get your men ready for their help. Ekwa Momo, the goddess of birth, will be with us. You will have to send for Ikuku. For Agadiwai said that he shall do the rest. My sisters, we have to go home and get prepared. been thinking about this and nothing seems to come out of it how do you want me to believe that a girl who was born some years ago that lost her parent and was even abandoned until she was killed <laughs> see, see see let me tell you the story is not clear how do you mean Ikoka? i still don't understand you i think maybe the parents might have committed something Yes. How can you tell me that a girl who was barely 12 years and was abandoned until some idiot caught and killed her? Ibuka, if I'm to say, our fathers didn't try at all. They should have taken care of the girl. Even when some said uh, they thought she ran to her mother's place. What stopped them from getting some of the mona to go and ask of her? They, they didn't try at all. No wickedness. Who are they to ask? Didn't you get what I'm saying? Uh, maybe uh, anybody from her mother's uh, relatives. Is that not the worst? The little girl's mother was an only child of the parent. She even lost her parents before Uduga Day's father married her. So tell me, who are they to ask? 
I am happy the girls have revealed this to us. If not, we should have been in the dark till this moment. Uh, meanwhile, when will the women be going for the task? I am asking you. You are asking me? Yes. Do I look like the eye of the gods? Do I know? Do I look like a woman? Um, Ikuka, I don't have all that time for you now. Mm -hmm. eh? You have you to understand done. the gist of the spirit. I'll be going. <laughs> yes, you don't need to go. No, you cannot do that kind of thing. You cannot go to risk your life for nothing. You are my only child. The only thing I have. So is Udogade. So is Udogade the only daughter. The only seed of her parents. I got the one I already said it. She said it is going to be a very dangerous journey. But mother, we have to take this risk. We have to save our young men and women from this problem. We have to. Please, just listen to me. You are the princess of this entire kingdom. Yes, you have your prestige. Please, listen to your mother. You know, girl? Okay, listen, just give me time. Let me discuss it with your father. Oh? Mother, mm -hmm. the day I got married was the day I ceased to be the princess of this kingdom. Mother, I chose my path. I did not marry into another royalty. You have to allow me. I have to save my sisters from this doom. I have to. Choco. Think about what I just told you. You cannot risk your life, your own life. No, let others go. Let them go. Yes, after all, reality did not kill the child. Mm. Think about it. Majesty, Shugo will not be part of that movement. She is not the one that killed the so-called little girl. I wonder why you and your cabinet member are dragging her to it. Why are you self-centered woman? Why? Is Shugo the only young maiden that went to see the chief priestess? No, tell me. Or are you implying that others don't have homes? They are children of nobody. No. No. Listen. If the God says, Chugo is the person that will lead, there is nothing you can do to stop it. I mean, there is nothing we can do about it. I know I cannot do anything, but you are the king. Yes. You have the final say. You have the authority to say that Chugo will not go and so shall it be. These women you are talking about, they have brothers, they have sisters. But Chugo is the only one I have. My only child. The Igrigi forest that, that is located on top of the, the mountain is not safe. She will not be part of that movement and that is final. The Ekwomo Priestess said you know the remaining things to do. Yes, Your Majesty. Preparation for the journey will start immediately. Are you then assuring me that they will come back alive with the remains of the little girl? Your Majesty, to be candid, Igrigi is a dreaded place. Their mission is under probability. They may return alive or they may not. Your Majesty, if the gods require human sacrifice to salvage our village, who are we to object? Thank 
suggest nothing. Absolutely nothing. And your daughter, our princess, has been chosen to lead this mission. Well, let them prepare her. So be it. I shall be on my way. Let me consult with the gods further to know those that will accompany our princess on this mission. I beg to take my leave. <laughs> I am having feeling for those children. The gods should have sent our notes instead of me. You are right. The men would have been brave enough to face the forces from the forest. Well, I I just I don't know if any of them will come back alive. May the gods be praised. It pained me that after losing those kids at death, their mothers now face the challenges. Serious. Hmm. Why do we all stand here and conclude that they will not come home alive? Are we the ghosts that are sending them to that? Hmm. I will conclude to what Onodugo said earlier. They should have sent men instead. Hmm. But my question is this. Hi. Who and who are going for this? <laughs> because I don't have any married daughter. Who will be part of it? Uh, yes, we, we know that. So, very soon we know. Yes, I would just only advise that uh, we should calm down and uh, stop lamenting about this journey. The girls might bring them back alive. <laughs> I pray so. Wafo, stop amusing me. See, even if any of them is going to come back alive, maybe one or two, it is not easy for someone to go to that bush and that mountain and come back alive. Igwe, you mean Ikuku told you that your daughter will lead others on this dangerous journey? All of you will shut up your mouth. Make sure you Why are you trying to discourage us from doing the right thing? What do you mean by dangerous journey? What is dangerous journey? No, but don't attack me. Is it not dangerous journey if I may ask? Should I be stunned for saying the truth? You deserve to be stunned. Don't get me angry personally with you. And if I get you angry, what will happen? You, you, I'm still tracing you on your route. Don't you, worry. Do you know where you're Take it, don't worry. Now. Look ask. at you. Why are you behaving as if you are not from this village? Ask him. The king's daughter can lead them. After all, you don't know why she, she was chosen. She put down because I'm from this village. Don't worry. Don't worry. The Majesty, I greet you. Uh, Ikuku, you are welcome. Cabinet members, I salute you all. Uh, Ikuku, you are welcome. You are welcome. Um, Your Majesty, the gods have given out the names of those that will join your daughter, our princess, on this mission. How many of them? There are seven of them, including your daughter. Their names are Tademma, Adamma, Mwogo, Ebube, Nkemakonam, and Ifesinachi. Your Majesty, some of these women are not in our village presently. So messages should be carried out so that they can be in tune. That their presence is required three market days from now for preparation on this mission. This is serious. My daughter is included. You go back to the Hey! What are you doing there? Hey! Adam and is also included. That's no swag of swimming. Who do that they want to be 
It's strange. Please, let's go back. When a bad masquerade wants to flog a woman, it hides in the bush. This might not even be able to be his voice for real. Please. No. I can feel it. The name. The name. Who is that? Yes. Hey, Bube. Hey, Bube. Hey, Bube, where are you? 